and it's slashing away at about 140 mega hash reported on the site. What are the most popular graphics cards for mining? This isn't gonna be an opinion piece. All right, well, at one point I am gonna have, I'm, I'm gonna throw my two cents in there for whatever it's worth. But we're gonna be looking at hard data, statistics, quite literally via real world data, what are the most popular graphics cards being used for mining right now? And what coins do they mine? It's not always as simple as, oh, everybody's got this graphics card and everybody mines this coin, so that's what I should do, right? So there's something called spec mining or speculative mining. You go after different coins and you hope they appreciate more in value or maybe short term, medium term, even long term, they may have better mining profitability. But looking back in the rear view mirror, generally speaking, Ethereum has been the most profitable coin to GPU mine. My name is Vosk. You're on the Vosk Coin YouTube channel. Please smash the subscribe button if you're new here. Please hit the thumbs up. Or also, if you're new here, GPU mining Ethereum is what got me into cryptocurrency and what I started this channel talking about. So it means a lot to me. Even if they're looking to move away from mining, which we've got a whole video talking about all that and when an ETA on that is. But uh, spoiler. And you may have saw that article says late 2021 early 2022 i would be i'd be a little surprised if it happens in 2022 i expect 2023 because ethereum is never on time with their roadmap but they are dead set on moving away and the people that actively develop this coin that is what they generally want so let's go ahead and jump into today's video we're going to be running the numbers we're going to be looking at gpu mining profitability we're going to be looking at one of my favorite graphics cards of all time and why how much it still sells for and what the future looks like for it but first you know we're running 10 seconds of tails an absolute staple here at the boss coin youtube channel and you would be astonished how many times i've been asked this year how can i mine dogecoin with my gpu you can't Anyone says that you can is lying. You're mining something else and they're paying you out in Doge, which is a whole different thing. But now you've gotten like 20 seconds of tails. So we're gonna run the logo intro. If you've ever wanted to mine Bitcoin, then you should head to minewithcompass.com and learn how they're making it possible for everyone to mine Bitcoin now. They sell Bitcoin miners, they will connect you with facilities, co-location, which enables you to host your Bitcoin miners with some of the best Bitcoin mining farms in the world. Click the link below to learn how you can start mining with Compass today. Nothing in this video is financial advice. Whatever you do is up to you and your decision alone. Also, watch out for scammers and impersonators. They're everywhere, they're on social media, they're creeping into your DMs, they're trying to talk to you on WhatsApp, they may be emailing you from a Gmail account, which we do not use Gmail, and they're making fake accounts and commenting in the comment section. Please watch out for them and please leave a real comment below with your thoughts on what we're talking about here. So today we're gonna to pull some statistics publicly available and verifiable by using the link that I'll drop down in the video description below or just going to hiveos.farm slash statistics. I actually don't even recommend HiveOS. Personally, I'm a fan of simplemining.net if you're looking for a plug and play mining OS. But that's not the point of today's video because they have a great stat page here and that's what we're gonna focus on and they are a popular option. So the overwhelming majority of the mined coin here is naturally, as always to be expected, Ethereum. 74% is massive. And if you look at the algorithm, 77% is on ETH hash, which is basically just Ethereum. We look at the breakdown, right? Not a ton of people talk about Ethereum Classic, 
but Ethereum Classic is a very popular coin and really just rides the coattails of Ethereum, but I would argue that it does nothing and it's just a shell op, but you know, whatever. Go ahead and tell me how the ETC devs are looking to do something. It's just there to, you know, let's let's brief know. Okay, so ETC is just there to de detract value, okay, from Ethereum. And it's basically funded by the companies like IOHK and Charles Hodgkinson, who, what did they do? What did he do? Made a competitor to Ethereum and was one of the ETH founders. And look, I'm not even here to hate on this or that or whatever. It's just a note and just something you should be very aware of. Looking at the models, RX 588 gigabyte, a whopping 29% market share here, followed by 570s, eight gigabytes. Then we have a bunch of four gigabyte graphics cards that can no longer mine Ethereum due to the DAG size. So those are probably making up the majority of the Ethereum classic hash rate, as well as obviously just some of the other coins. Then a very surprising, you know a big mining farm built these out. 19% market share for the RTX 3070, which is a latest generation, the 3000 series, the 30 series, graphics cards, GPUs by Nvidia with eight gigabytes of VRAM or basically onboard memory. Then we have the 1660 Super, which was really one of the best cards around its time of release, including the 1660 Ti, which I thought that I would see here as well. Then we quickly drop down to P106 100s, which is, which is basically a mining version of a 1060. Then we have 1070s, 1060s, 3060 Ti's, 3080s, and some other graphics cards. And I was surprised to see the 1080 Ti down at 4%. They also have some support for some ASIC miners. Application, you thought I wasn't gonna say it again. Applications, specific integrated circuit miner. That's a purpose built machine. All they do is mine cryptocurrencies. So break down 51% AMD, 49% Nvidia. And even, you know, regardless of FUD, for two, the two leading miners, actually, most of them, more than 50% of the GPUs are running on Phoenix Miner and T-Rex or Trex Miner. I'd like to take a brief moment to thank today's video sponsor. And that's a multifunctional blockchain where you can create verified personal profiles based on academic and professional achievements. They're going to store your history of achievements on the blockchain. That means it's verifiable, baby. Disciplina is the project creating this as well as planning to provide educational institutions with an opportunity to monetize the data. They've launched their own token, DSCPL, on the Binance Smart Chain. We have a full video guide on what the Binance Smart Chain is, how to set up your own wallet, and interact with it all. They've even got a liquidity provider and giveaway program going on. Learn more about them with the link in the video description below. There is a key note here that I do want to touch on that can disrupt or, or does you know disrupt the mining metrics here. So they claim to have the most profitable pool for mining Ethereum and ETC. It's a bold claim, I don't believe it to be true, but what I can tell you is that this is swaying the metrics here without a doubt. So please understand that this is impacting our data. And you know, let's take a just brief headline or brief article piece out of a headline article talking about, you know, inside the GPU shortage, why you still can't buy a graphics card. <laughs> you gonna cry about it, dude? So they, they, they always have to make jabs, like mining setup in your mom's basement, anyone? It's just all these guys talking down to miners, GPU miners, or just crypto miners in general. Guess what, bro? We're out here making money with our hardware. What do you do? Watch YouTube videos, not actually knocking that because you know we're on YouTube right now. But in all reality, I mean, what do you watch? Movies on your computer and play Fortnite with the boys? I mean, it's lame, dude. We're out here running the financial revolution. We're making money, we're making passive income, we're stacking coins. What do you do? You stack L's on all those video games you play. It gets old. I'm, I'm just so sick of reading stuff like this. But let's talk about something that makes me happy. How about the graphics card that released over four years ago? Yep. The 1080 Ti. People ask, is the GTX 1080 Ti still good? Well, with these scores, the, T the 1080 Ti is still a super relevant card today. Yeah, in mining and every other process. Which is why, even though you would think 
that the prices are dropping. According to eBay, I mean, you could say they're slightly dropping. You know, they, they are slightly dropping, but they're still selling for well over $500 per graphics card. And if you don't know, these are my favorite cards ever, period. I mean, I've had like, I don't know, 50, 75, 1080 Ti, I probably had more. I freaking love these cards. One time I had two 12 card 1080 Ti rigs at the same time, okay? Those are my babies. And one day they went down and it was devastating. But the point is, these are absolute workhorses. I've gamed countless hours on them. What am I, hypocrite now because I made fun of gamers? I'm a gamer too, man. I just understand where my priorities should be. Um, but <laughs> uh, absolute incredible card. And that's why they still sell for over $500 per card. You saw that one? That one's broken. We're on eBay and these are sold listings. These aren't listings, right? These aren't what people want. These are what they're selling for. Defective card still sells for over $400. That's just kind of crazy. I remember finding good deals for these. I was buying it for $500 a pop. Over four years later, you still can't do that. That is just crazy. The 1080 Ti is my absolute favorite card for mining, gaming, and everything in between. Call me an old dude. It's got a soft space in my heart too because it was the king of graphics cards for everything when I really went big with my mining farm that I basically took a shed and built a, you know, country boy, because you can't say the other term for it, data center. And so that was a lot of fun and super profitable and the best investment I've ever made in my life. Some people told me I was an idiot. Some people told me I was dumb. Some people told me I was too late. Some people, you know, a lot of naysayers, a lot of people that will say, shouldn't do that or whatever, but you, sometimes you just got to get out there and you got to follow your dreams. But is it worth it getting into GPU mining right now? I mean, that's a question that you've got to ask yourself. So let me pull up this page and we'll just run through it real quick. It's a useful tool on what to mine, which is a profit mining profit calculator. It breaks down the graphics cards and ranks them by their profitability. We have a video review on the Radeon VII or most commonly referred to as the Radeon 7 and this thing is just an absolute fantastic graphics card, absolute workhorse and just profitability maniac, right? Profitability maniac. We, we, we need some kind of crazy term for a card that's just been crushing it ever since the day it came out in a lot of unique ways and not just on Ethereum, which we talked about in our VII review. But we come down this list. GPU mining profits have pulled back massively alongside Ethereum because what like nobody seems to want to talk about and acknowledge is the simple fact that GPU mining entirely revolves around Ethereum. And when Ethereum moves the proof of stake, Ethereum 2.0, where it will be no longer mineable, it will leave a catastrophic void that at our current trajectory we will not be able to recover from, which is absolutely terrifying from a GPU mining point of view. But until then, there's a lot of money to be made right so we come down this list you know we look at last generation graphics cards they're all still pulling over two bucks a day after you pay a residential electric bill and maybe that seems like a lot of money to you maybe it doesn't a lot of people would argue that these metrics are much lower than they should be as well like 39 mega hash and 180 watts i mean i'd be doing you know 60 mega hash a second at like 125 watts that's you know incredibly profitable we'd be looking at three dollars a day clearing after the electric bill but my point is simply that one, you don't live and die by the mining profitability calculators. Normally you're earning more than all these calculators suggest. If you're scared of bear markets, then maybe you're gonna like today's video sponsor. Yeah, it's something you may have never heard before. It's a deflationary token. It's called spray. There's sarcasm right there if you didn't catch it with the deflationary part. But they even have automatic rewards for holders and a dynamic supply. But they are rich in memes. And their tagline is simply because bear markets suck. This is a token that you can buy on Uniswap, which makes it an ERC-20 token. The ERC-20 token is simply spray for spraytoken.net. If you don't know what Uniswap is, we have a full video guide on what Uniswap is and how to use it, and also what MetaMask is, which is gonna be the recommended wallet to interact and use Uniswap, the decentralized exchange. And in this other video about MetaMask, we'll completely walk you through what it is and how to set it up. 
and how to use it. But the coolest thing about this is that you can buy the spray token with no KYC, no intermediaries, no limitations based on what country you're from, which is pretty cool. One to 2% of each spray token transaction is burned. Holding is basically equivalent to staking in this concept. There's also a 3% tax on transaction. The unique thing about this token is that they track the crypto market via Chainlink Oracle integrations and they increase the burn rate when it's bare. They're hoping that by burning more of their own tokens, they can slow the rate that their token would fall in price. But this is a mechanic that only triggers when the general market is trending downward. They hope to also be capable of mooning along with other cryptos when they're mooning as well. Or if you don't know crypto slang, going up in price. This token has a dynamic supply, which you need to understand what that is. You can go ahead and learn more about spraytoken.net with our links in the video description below. And it's still insane that graphics cards that are years old are still this profitable. And everybody wants to get rich overnight, but do you understand that like you could just get this for your gaming PC or your video editing PC or you know just your PC to work on it, day trade, and whatever else, and you could still pull this easy passive income on the side and then expand it out if you want to? Get your hardware working for you, man. Get your hardware working for you, earn some money, stack some coins, go ahead, sell it. Sell the coins, okay? Yeah, that's not financial advice. Then buy some more graphics cards build out your rig organically you have at that point a uh, paid off essentially no risk investment tangible hardware that you could always sell if you want to i don't know how anyone can say no to this you're either naive ignorant lazy i mean or, or you got too much money you don't care and if that's the point why are you still watching the video man what you doing you're so rich go out and live your life but I think this is absolutely intoxicating. I love getting robotic employees, okay? There's no customer service. I can mine these coins straight to an exchange and sell them if I want to. I can even set up weekly sales. I can automate quite literally everything from paying my electric bill to these coins being mined, where they go and when they're sold, if I want to turn them into dirty dollars or if I want to stack up some digital internet money. But anyway, I'm getting ranty. I'll leave it at that. We ran through quickly just some of the most popular graphics cards for mining. Obviously, you can just pause the screen and look, or re what I really do is encourage you to click the link below, go to whattomine.com slash GPUs, and you can check the real the real time mining profitability there. I mean, it updates you know every time you refresh it. I really think the GPU mining is more of a mindset. Mining is more of a mindset as a whole than it is just like, oh, like there's a secret graphics card and the secret coin that's super profitable. That sort of used to be true, potentially but it's so popular now it's just kind of not and really the best thing you could do especially depending on your level of interest buy the best gear latest gear you can buy the best stuff you can afford the most efficient especially right so the most hash rate per watts consumed for whatever coin recommends just simply ethereum right set up your rig and you can always deviate from there but get your baseline go after the big boy Take a bite of the pie everybody wants a slice of and go from there. But hey, it's up to you. If I could just seriously tell you to do anything, it's to smash that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know your thoughts. I appreciate you. I'll see you on the next video.